Hi, I'm Olivier from Activity Messenger. And in this video, we're going to learn how to create a waitlist or interest form using Google Forms. So I just logged into my Google Forms uh, and I'll take the waitlist form that I just created. Once I'm in my form builder, the first thing I like to build is the title at the top. So what is, what are they, you know, when the person clicks, what are they looking for? So it's a summer camp waitlist. And then I like that a description so people understand what happens next and, you know, what's the waitlist about. Then you'll need to have the information about the participants. So uh, we'll have the email because that's how we're going to contact them if a spawn opens us up, as well as the name of the participants. Then every, everybody would have different options here. So you might have preferred programs or classes. I like to use a checkbox where people can sign up for multiple wait lists. Uh, and maybe if you're running a camp, then you have your eight weeks of camp. So maybe parents are looking to sign up for your camp, but not necessarily all eight weeks. Uh, so they can come in and just select which weeks, weeks, weeks they want to sign up for. You can then add more questions uh, and more context, but this is a kind of a very simple format that you can then uh, preview, right? So if I click on the little eye here, I will preview the form and I can even test and fill it out. This is what the client is going to see. So you want to make sure this is uh, aligns to exactly what you're looking for. You might want to customize it. So if you click on the customize button, you'll have different options for the background image, colors, and you may, can add a few things to make it more on brand. Um, and next, you'll want to share this, right? So one thing you can do is you can uh, add it to your website or you can share this form with your clients. So if you click on the send button here, uh, I can send it by email. I can use a URL link that I can add maybe to uh, a newsletter or um anywhere you want on social media and then you also can embed it on your website right so people can click and stay on your website so these are kind of the different ways you can share the form with your clients <clears throat> now what happens when people fill out the form and you know a spot opens up in this example i pre-filled it before the video and i have now three respondents right and it just kind of shows you here an overview of the respondents but what i do recommend is to go see it in, in the google sheets uh, and the reason being is you'll be able to filter out a lot easier. First thing is on the left, you'll have a timestamp. So you'll, you will be able to say, hey, this person was actually first on the wait list. So that's the person I should contact first, right? So I would take that person's email, send them an email saying, hey, spot has opened up. But then you'll also be able to filter for other information, right? So for preferred programs, I can then, you know, filter column and say, only show me people, you know, that have that are looking for this class because that's where it opened up, right? So I just removed, let's say the waitlist had, you know, hundreds of people. It's only showing me people who are looking for this program uh, that are on the waitlist. And again, it's going to keep it in order of timestamp. You can do the same thing for the weeks. If it was a camp, you know, spot opens up in week three, you would just filter through and see who's, who's interested in having that spot in week three. <clears throat> then all you got to do is take that email, send the person an email saying, hey, a spot opened up and uh, we, you can register to camp. So that's the gist of creating a waitlist form in Google Forms. If you're lo looking for a more complete uh, soft uh, program that offers, you know, automated waitlist with SMS notification, uh, you know, prioritization automated and stuff like that, you can visit activitymessenger.com. Hope you enjoyed.